Homemade sunscreen that is non-toxic, waterproof, and super good for the skin. First, you're gonna start off with a pot of water and then you're gonna put it to boil and add a mason jar in the middle. Next, we're gonna add some coconut oil to the mason jar and then we're gonna add shea butter as well. We're gonna let that melt really good and then we're gonna add some beeswax. After you're finished with that, next we're gonna add some zinc oxide powder. Go ahead and place it on the counter and then add a little bit of cocoa powder. Cocoa powder is to add for the color and it also lightens dark spots and has a lot of vitamin C. Homemade sunscreens might sound safe and natural, but they're actually neither. Just because the ingredients they're putting in there are natural doesn't mean that that sunscreen is safe or effective. Traditional sunscreens go through rigorous testing to make sure that the SPF on the label actually provides the proper protection, including water resistance and stability testing. Your ingredients don't do that. You don't know how long your compound is stable for, you don't know if it's water resistant, and you don't even know what the protection is. And I 100% acknowledge that some of you are afraid of sunscreens being toxic. I do not believe that sunscreens are toxic. I plan to my children. But if this is you and you think the sunscreens are toxic, stick to mineral sunscreens. Look for ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. You're still going to get your natural zinc in there, but you're going to get something that is tested, proven to work. So if you truly do love your children, please, for the love of God, stop making your own sunscreen and putting it on them.